Hey friends, I had a few requests lately to talk more about the lathe that I make my banjo rims on, so I thought I'd talk about that a little bit. Um, the history of it is that I bought this uh, lathe from Mark, who ran Wildwood Banjos for about 40-something years. And as far as I know, most of the Wildwood Banjos were made on this lathe. Um, I've heard from some of the other guys who used to work for Mark that, that it was their job to sit and turn rims. and. As far as I know, most of them were made on this. So it's not that special of a lathe as, as far as like lathes go, but it came from Mark with the tooling for gluing up and making um, the uh, segmented banjo rims and also with the kind of institutional knowledge of a good way to do it easily. And uh, when he retired, I snapped up the chance to do that. It came with uh, the tooling and stuff. So this is a Delta Rockwell lathe. I think it's from the mid 50s. Um, there's many like it. The, I think this one's model number is 46-200 or something like that. But um, you can, it's really a spindle lathe. This is not really made to spin big round bowls and stuff and big banjo rims like I do. Um, but it's been, uh, it's, it's, it's basically operating at the edge of its capacity. Um, it doesn't, it's not on the original legs and stand. Somebody made this, probably Mark. It's a big oak piece and then a couple fur cross members and then along with some um, legs that would go to a different delta lathe and then that's not an original motor so I'm not really sure what's up with that setup but it works um, the key to it is it comes with one of these cross slides that this is more like what you'd see in a pattern makers lathe or similar to what you'd see a metal worker using on a lathe um, and by the way I am not an experienced wood turner like I do not know that much about all this I know how to make banjo rims and a few other things but basically you mount cutters for the inside of the rim and the outside of the rim on this tool post and then this tool post is manipulated with these um, handles to go left and right and in and out and you take the slices off until you've got the size you want. Um, there's also uh, came with a couple of face plates and I bought a chuck like that to hold things um, as well. Um, and here's a rim I was working on yesterday. I do block rims. Um, one thing that has been a challenge for me that I was a little frustrated with is that when I bought this from Mark, he said, oh yeah, we've always made our 11 inch and 12 inch banjos on this lathe because there's a gap in the bed where you can fit a 12 inch banjo room in there. And that's true, but the Wildwood banjos were pretty much all made with a shorter rim and then a metal tone ring fit to the top. And he made that shorter rim the size that would fit right here. You can even see, like, I think this is old finish on here from where they used to maybe put finish on the rim on here. So once you get a faceplate on here and then you get the rim uh, attached, I can't fit a full length or full depth 12 inch rim on this lathe. Um, so that was a little frustrating for me because my rims are taller um, and I was just ignorant at the time. So, you know, I have options. Um, I could cut this out. I could get a bigger lathe. I could try to turn them outboard, but I wouldn't be able to use this then. Um, what I've generally been doing is I make a sh I make two segments of the 12 inch rim right here in the lathe and then I add the one more segment on top of it and then cut uh, trim that off with a router and that's worked okay. I don't do that many 12 inch rims. Um, but yeah, it's got uh, a lot of character to it. It's been around the block. I had to change that belt sometime. The bearings are still good. The motor still works great. This cross slide takes some maintenance, but I'm learning about it, sharpening these tools. You know, I've been learning about it. The little spindle turning I have been doing, I've using Mark's tools he gave me along with it. Um, and I, you know, look forward to learning more about rims in the future. Cheers.